Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. I'm going to go ahead and take these two cards that already flew out. But I do want to start off by apologizing because I am fighting off a cold. So you guys might hear my voice being a little bit funny today. I do apologize in advance, but welcome to your reading, right? That's very exciting. Um, if you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this reading and when you're meant to hear the messages within it, and in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Taurus and Scorpio on Tuesdays. Also, Scorpio, um, just a message that I kind of channeled right before I started the reading was sort of this you can do it energy. I feel like things have been very rough on you lately, but do know that you can do it. You can certainly do it. Whatever it is that's really been bothering you, uh, even if you have to do it a million times, like even just making this video, I had to uh, start over, but... Like, I'm getting it, whatever it is that you guys are wanting. Like, if you put your mind to it, you'll be able to get it. Uh, it's just a matter of not giving up. But, uh, sort of going back to the reading a little bit more, I only take jumpers. So, sometimes the cards will flip over the deck. Usually, when it's this deck, I'll try to put them back facing the correct direction. Because if they're facing it, the cards are a little bit bent. So if they're facing the opposite direction, they always shuffle. But logistics aside, I do want to remind you guys that if you enjoy the reading, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. But your overall energy here is the Eight of Cups. Or sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> I apologize. But the Eight of Pentacles is actually a really good energy to have. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles talks about really flourishing in anything that has to do with skills. So I feel like if you guys have gone back, I'm hearing technical training, uh, or maybe anyone that's affiliated with a college or perhaps some on-the-job training or even like a hobby or some skill you're cultivating on your own time. It could even be tarot. Uh, anything like that, you're really going to see huge success on that right now. And I'm looking at sort of the reading over here, and I see the Six of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups is a very interesting combination, but it's also a very powerful combination. Because the Nine of Cups, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles talks about that independence, right? It talks about... Being strong and being able to sort of handle yourself mentally, spiritually, financially, like all those things on your own. And now that you've like had all those things figured out, you're able to really go out into the world and find that person that you want to connect with. <coughs> I apologize. But when you connect to that person, you're able to connect as a full version of you. And when you do that, you're able to give that person this dynamic where you have a nine and they have nine and you're able to share the 10th pentacle, right? And I feel like that's what you're looking for, especially since you have the 10 of pentacles further on in your reading. So my dear Scorpios with the six of cups here, you guys are, I feel like you guys should let your inner child roam a little bit. Uh, six of cups oftentimes for me, I'll choose to interpret that as you falling in love for the first time, right? Like that sort of that feeling of the butterflies and the cold feet and all those feelings that you felt when you were a kid are sort of resurfacing a little bit, but now you have this side of pentacles energy to go with it. So you're really able to, you're in a different place though, probably where you're able to really start looking at beginning a life with this person you know, should you so choose, whatever this Ten of Pentacles looks like to you, like, that's totally up to you. But I feel like a lot has gone on. Also, I do want to point out this phenomenally strong combination here with the Queen of Swords 
and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So the Ten of Swords is normally a really bad card, a horrible card to get, but because it's in reverse, it's actually really good. Because the Ten of Swords normally will describe heartache, uh, betrayal, pain, devastation, like all those things. But because it's in reverse, leads me to believe that you guys, you know, unfortunately may have already gone through that. But I feel like now it's all about the healing. Healing is the name of the game. And this Queen of Swords is really, really strong. Her sword is red. Not by coincidence. It's not a decoration. She has used that sword and it is covered in blood because she has had to fight for what she has. And you have had to fight for what you've had. You know, Scorpios t uh, typically have hard, difficult lives because you guys are sort of the sign of death and transformation. But like a phoenix, you rise from the ashes, right? So whatever this Ten of Swords is, you know, like the expression, what doesn't kill me will only make me stronger. Like, if that wasn't written by a Scorpio, then I don't know what it was, right? Uh, I do want to bring up, though, that you have the Devil card, the Temperance, and the Hermit, which all represent Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Virgo, respectively. But if those signs don't resonate, that's not a big deal. But if they do, just take that to be extra confirmation. But, like, a little bit more on whatever this Ten of Swords energy was... I see it here. I see conflict. And I see somebody who was very toxic, right? This devil energy has been coming up a lot recently. And I, I don't think that's a coincidence. I feel like you guys have really been having to deal with, you know, similar to all the other sides, uh, somebody who is really has it out for you, somebody who's selfish. And I feel like, in part, it might have to do with, like, an age aspect. Because I see Six of Cups, and I feel like that's almost attached to this. It's like, perhaps somebody who, like, innately told you that, like, whatever these feelings are, are not good, or they're not logical, or they're not, like, this, that, or the other. But I feel like you're really taking time to decide for yourself. Like, it's so interesting to look at what different aspects of the Devil card each particular deck will uh, choose to elaborate on. Because... You know, there's so many aspects to it. There's uh, hypersexuality, there's vices, there's just overall sinister energy. Uh, but this one in particular seems to talk about more entrapment than anything. Feeling trapped and feeling bound. And I feel like this is perhaps how you felt in the past. Is you felt like you couldn't really be you entirely. And as a result, there was conflict, there was friction, because that's what the Five of Wands is. It's conflict and competition. It's two ideas that are in competition of each other and don't really play nice with each other. So I feel like you guys are entering a period right now where you can be yourselves unapologetically and nobody gets to say anything about it. And you are you and... I feel like that's a wonderful energy to have because honestly, you've been through enough shit at this point to where you can do it and you can give yourself the luxury of not having to deal with anyone anymore. You know, obviously, if you're not there yet, then like act accordingly. Uh, but I feel like it's within like it's so close. You could you can almost taste it like it's on the horizon. But either way, I see the Ten of uh, Ten of Pentacles, and I see the Temperance card. So whatever this energy here that, like, has defined you in the past, like, I almost hesitate to say that, honestly. Uh, to find you in the past almost feels like I'm giving this situation far too much credit. Like, it's not even... I feel like for a lot of you, it's it's not even... It, it's like a non-issue at this point. But, like, like I was saying earlier, you have the 9 going into the 10, which, first of all, is progression. Also, 8, 9, 10, like... That's a lot of progression. Uh, you guys are going to really start to fly right now. Like, you guys are going to go mock speed, speed of light, into your pursuits, especially if they have to do with the physical world. But this is a happy home environment. And whatever that looks like to you is what you're going to get. You know, for some people, it's a white picket fence with and a house and two kids and a wife and a husband or whatever. For some people, it's an apartment by themselves with a cat, right? downtown or whatever so whatever it looks like to you is going to be what you get um 
and there's going to be this sense of balance. So the Temperance card is very fascinating because it teaches us balance, but not in the same way that the Justice card does. Justice card teaches us 50-50, right? Equal, black and white. But this teaches us proportions, right? You don't put in uh, one part's vanilla, one part's flour, or one part's egg to get a cake. You know, those are completely, like if you put in too much vanilla, you can even make that cake poisonous, right? Even though it's a really sweet thing in small doses. So that might be another thing with this devil card is that it can represent vices. So some of you guys might need to lay off the drinking a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, temper yourselves and temper the things around in your life. With this hermit card, I feel like good advice is to just go within yourself, do a little bit of introspection uh, every once in a while. You don't have to turn into a shut-in, but definitely do like evaluate what your emotions are, check in with yourself. Like, I feel like you know, you know you. Uh, you know your rhythms, you know your patterns, uh, and I feel like you're gonna do really great right now. But that was your reading, Scorpio. I apologize that my voice sort of gave out, but if you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Scorpio videos on Tuesdays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.